Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today we have some really big stuff, starting with the 3090 Ti being better than we thought. RTX 4070 pricing leaks, Nvidia's RTX 40 specs confirmed, and the first MCM gaming GPU is here. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, we know the RTX 3090 Ti is a thing. One of my sources isn't sure that Nvidia is going to release it or not, but it definitely exists, and it's actually set to be a kraken of a GPU. According to video cards, it comes with a blistering 450 watt TDP, which is a full 100 watts higher than the 3090. I mean, if you were to water cool this thing, you may actually have yourself a nice hot water heater. It also comes with a full fat GA102 GPU, which means a whopping 10,752 CUDA cores, 84 ray tracing cores, and 336 tensor cores. But of course, you knew most of that already. The big news here is that Nvidia's 3090 Ti is set to come with Micron's new 21 gigabit per second GDDR6X memory. Not only that, but it comes with two gigabyte modules, so Nvidia will only need 12. Like Video Cards mentions, this should help with the design of the the card because the regular 3090 had memory modules on the back, which required active cooling. Of course, that 450 watt CDP could mean it's still required. And really, I think that wattage says a lot. The big thing we don't know is clock speed. Maybe this bad boy gets a huge boost in clocks, which should explain the higher TDP. Either way, with the jump in cores and memory speed, Nvidia's 3090 Ti is no joke. Let's just hope the price doesn't make my wallet cry. And speaking of pricing, this is your last chance to grab great PC hardware deals with Newegg's Cyber Monday Extended Deals event. With great deals on hard drives, SSDs, laptops, CPUs, and more, you definitely want to check this out. I'll have an affiliate link to all the deals in the description below. It doesn't cost you anything more and it helps the channel out. And the sale ends really soon, so make sure to click that link before it's too late. And of course, while pricing is a major concern, I actually have some good news on Nvidia's next-gen RTX 4000 GPUs. If you remember not long ago, I discussed a video from Red Gaming Tech where he went over the fact that the RTX 4090 was going to be around $1,600 to $1,700, and that is a bit more. But remember that these are rumored to get a massive performance increase over the RTX 30 series. Really, it's AMD's next gen that's rumored to get a really big price increase. Either way, in a new story by MyDrivers.com, they claim that the price of the RTX 4070 will be 10% higher than the 3070 bringing it to $549. The reason they give is higher foundry prices and raw material costs. Now, any price increase obviously sucks, but we are talking over MSRP, not the outlandish prices we have now. And as long as supply can finally meet demand by the time these release, which according to Red Gaming Tech is Q3 to Q4 of next year, it should actually be at that price. Of course, things can change before release, but that's apparently the plan as of now. Basically, it's looking like most RTX 40 cards are set to get a small price increase, but we do know that raw material prices are going up along with inflation and tons of other issues, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is the case. Luckily, Nvidia's next-gen GPUs are looking to be more and more incredible with today's next story. In a new article from DigiTimes, they spoke with companies familiar with the back-end supply chain for Nvidia's RTX 40 cards, and according to them, the GPUs are based on Ada Lovelace and built on TSMC's 5 nanometer process. If you've been following the channel, you know that multiple leakers have claimed the same thing, so this is looking more and more confirmed. Not only that, but they mentioned Nvidia's Hopper architecture architecture, which is rumored to be an MCM GPU for AI. DigiTimes was able to confirm that it's based on TSMC's 5 nanometers as well. All in all, Nvidia's next gen is looking seriously impressive. And lastly for today, the Chinese company InnoSilicon has officially released their first discrete GPUs in collaboration with Imagination Graphics. They're called Fantasy One, and they mark the first real competitor to AMD and Nvidia. The GPUs were announced during their Fantasy One press conference, where they effectively launched four GPUs but two main cards. The first product is the Type A GPU, which is actually a consumer workstation card. What's really interesting is that it's actually an MCM GPU, meaning multiple chiplets built into one card. What's more is that it supports DirectX and Vulkan, so it can actually game. Plus, they reportedly showed these off doing heavy gaming, making this the first MCM gaming GPU. 
Of course, driver support will be key to how well it can actually game, but it's not looking like a bad card. According to the data sheet, the Type A model comes with up to 5 teraflops of FP32 compute, which is around NVIDIA's RTX 2060. Though if you understand theoretical compute, you'll know that means nothing when it comes to gaming. Not Still, bad. it's not, not bad. bad. It also comes with a whopping 16 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory across a 128-bit bus. When it comes to the connectors, the GPU has a DisplayPort 1.4, HDMI 2.1, and oddly enough, a VGA port. Next is the Type-B GPU, which is a dual card that comes with two Fantasy 1 GPUs and gets up to 10 teraflops of FP32 compute. It comes with 32 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory, though still on a small 128-bit bus. This card seems to be more focused on the data center, and it can apparently offer 32 simultaneous 1080p streams at 60fps, or 64 streams at 720p 30fps. Not only that, but InnoSilicon Silicon has confirmed that they're working on Fantasy 2 and 3 GPU families, meaning they aren't slowing down anytime soon. So while that does it for today, are you excited for the new GPUs coming out of China, or are you just excited for the next-gen cards? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!